The Basic tab is not the only one you can use when making basic presets. You can add pretty much anything, just make sure it can be applied to all the images. There's the Curve tab, where you can apply a curve, be it parametric or point. People mostly use it to make images more contrasted, as it gives a more predictable result than the sliders in the Basic tab. There's the Detail tab, where you can sharpen or reduce noise. Normally, I don't sharpen high-res images, because they're going to be reduced in size anyway, and I sharpen them at their final size. But if an image lacks sharpness from the start, Pre-sharpen it in Camera Raw can be of help. Just make sure you set the scale to 100% before sharpening anything, otherwise you won't see the effect for real. Noise reduction is not used in catalog retouching, at least not to reduce noise. As high ISO values being the main reason of noisy images are never used during catalog photo shoots, there's plenty of light and no noise at all. There's the Hue Saturation Luminance tab, which is very useful when you retouch models. If something is wrong with the skin tone of a particular model, you can fix it here by moving the orange slider in all the three tabs. It affects skin without altering the rest of the image, unless there is something else that is orange or beige. Here you can remove chromatic aberrations. This is a great way to fix a whole batch of images with chromatic aberrations. Keep this in mind. You can also enable profile corrections, which is not a big deal in catalog retouching. The next tab, which is the Effects tab, can add some grain and post-crop vignetting. All but grain is useless to us, but in cases when Photoshop noise filter doesn't satisfy you, try the grain tool, it's more versatile. This is it for the tabs, as I've already told you about the next two, and you don't really need the last one.